Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. So a lot of us are going to start FC 25 with those pre-order 4,600 FC points. And the question is, what is the best way to spend those? In years past, there was one or two best options, but now with new features coming to FC 25, there might be more. I want to break it down today, talk about the market a little bit too, as it really pertains to the importance of these FC points in the early game. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. So let's get right into the conversation by first discussing how do you even get these FC points? A lot of us have pre-ordered. We're waiting for them to arrive. When are we actually going to see them? And the answer to that is whenever you log into the game for the first time. Last year and basically every other year of Ultimate Team, if you have the pre-order, the time that you sign into the actual game, your first login to the console or PC game of FC25 will be when those FC points will show up in the top right-hand corner. You cannot access them on the web app or anywhere on the companion app. It has to be through accessing the game. Now, there is a time when these points become available too. It is at the exact same time when you will be able to log in to the game at midnight your local time now ignore this date this is from last year's pitch notes september 22nd was last year's date this year of course is september 20th so midnight september 20th your local time you will be able to log in to fc25 for the first time on early access and as you log in you will have your pre-order rewards including your fc points all 4600 of them now also a lot of people ask will i be able to transfer over points from 24 to 25 yes there'll be a pop-up message make sure you click slowly through the menus so you click yes on that and don't hit no that'd be very sad if you can hit no on that but that's how you should be able to do that now let's talk about option number one which is guys spending all those fc points on packs now this is my favorite option every year because you have the opportunity to get coins on your account straight away and guys i always say this there's no better time to open packs on a new ultimate team than right away. And there's a couple of different reasons for that. But the packs you're going to be able to open straight away is probably just going to be these 7.5k packs because every single year, these are the packs that are going to be in the store. Other than that, you have some bronze and some silver packs. Some people think that silver packs are good value for coins, but they don't give you that potential like walkout pull or maybe an inform pull because there'll be a team of the week in packs when we're opening these. That won't give you the opportunity to pack those and those silvers. So I would stick to the premium gold packs and with 4600 fc points you will be able to open 30 yes 30 of these 7.5k packs and approximately with the same pack value that we had on fc24 you should end up making about 60 to 75,000 coins easily from doing these packs now i'm going to open a 7.5k pack just right now hopefully i don't pack anything sick so that i can show you this as a good example Great. I didn't pack anything sick. Now, if I quick sell everything in this pack, I'm getting right around 2000 coins of value back. And that is kind of what you can expect back from all 30 of those packs. So that's how I get the 60,000 coin number. Now, also from this, you're going to pack a couple of players that will end up selling for more than that a player that sells for 5, 10, 15K, you could make a million coins if you pack somebody super crazy, right? But that 60,000 coin baseline is what you would expect to get. And that's why I love opening the packs right away because it's fun. Who doesn't want to open the game for the first time with FC points sitting there and just rip through a big pack opening to start the year that are tradable packs that you get coins for. That just sounds like the most fun time and the most efficient to get coins on your account right away so you can get more packs through SBCs or start going to the market buying and investing players. Now, there's one caveat this year to FC25 that makes this a bit different. Notice these 7.5K packs include a lot of contracts. If you guys have opened these throughout the year or you just remember opening your preview pack and seeing what's in it, contracts are always a big part of these packs. There's no contracts in FC25. So the actual value of the pack and what is in these packs from the start of FC25 might look a little bit different. And we are really wondering what's going to replace all these contracts and packs. We do not know yet. Is it going to be players? Is there going to be a better weight for players? Are the packs going to be smaller? Is there going to be more cosmetic items like TIFOs? That's kind of what we would expect. 
but we're not entirely sure yet guys so we're gonna have to look and see what that looks like that'll be the only caveat to this method but regardless I mean this pack I only made 1800 coins from but that's still quick selling everything not caring about what anything would sell for in those early couple of days and we'll talk about whether you should sell or keep a lot of the cards you pack from uh, packs early in the game in a video very very soon on the channel but let's keep moving through our list right we'll talk about option number one with the packs I want to keep moving on to it and we'll talk more about the market and packs at the end option number two for opening your packs right away or opening your FC points right away is by playing draft you could use your FC points on draft now personally this one is my least favorite of all the different options notice I have a crazy draft let's go to single player this is my least favorite of all the options guys because it takes a lot of time and I know some of you guys that are really really good at the game will be like Nate this is the best way to do it because you get a whole bunch of packs and you do you did you get a whole bunch of packs if you win a lot of games but you're not going to be able to rip through your FC points and get those packs for a couple of days to be honest because if you can open 30 packs with those FC points, obviously that's double what a pack costs, 150, 300 for these drafts. You're going to be able to do 15 drafts, which is going to take you a lot of time. 15 different drafts. Let's say you play on average two or three games. You lose in the, the second or third round each time. Maybe you get a couple where you go to the, the final and you win. So you're playing four games then. That's going to take a lot of time, right? 15 to 20 minutes per game, maybe a little bit less if you have rage quits, which probably aren't that prevalent at the beginning of the game anyway. Yes, you might get some better packs in the end, but it might take you a week to get there. So I would say only do the draft method if you're somebody who is really, really good at the game. Like I'm talking rank two or one in Weekend League, maybe rank three as well. There's also a decent opportunity if you wanted to as well. You could say, I'm going to use some of my points for draft and some of my points for packs. I think that's a decent way to look at it as well. You can kind of split it up, um, but I do not think draft is really efficient. That's the biggest word that I would say is not um, good for draft. It's not efficient. Now, there is some people that like to go uh, to single player draft like I was right here, and they like to AFK all the matches. So that way you win every single draft. Again, that just takes a lot of time. Yes, you could get some better packs, but again, this is probably not my favorite method just because it takes a whole lot of time. Now, option number three when it comes to opening these packs is a new one. Evolutions, guys. I know this might sound crazy, but for some people that are very, very motivated by evolutions in this game, it's not actually a terrible idea to save even some of your FC points for Evos. Because, I mean, take a look at this. Last year, we had paid evolutions in the first couple weeks of the game, and they were pretty decent. Remember, it was like Relentless Winger was the name of that Evo. A lot of people did Ansu Fati in it. There were some really crazy cards early on, especially when everybody's on the game and worried about upgrading their teams as fast as possible. 125,000 coins versus 300 FC points. That is a crazy value for the FC points. All of these evolutions for the whole entire year of FC24 were so much cheaper with FC points than they were with coins. And of course, during the early game, we are all very scared to spend our coins unless it's going to be worth it. And if you're somebody who's very motivated by evos and gameplay and you're going to run a full untradeable team anyway, it's actually not a bad idea to save some of your S FC points for these evolutions maybe it's like you open half or you open 3000 for packs and save 1600 the rest of them for evolutions that is genuinely a shout this year which we never would have thought of before but if that's something that motivates you evolutions and you really really like those and you i mean we're gonna have good evos we have a whole new evo system this year which is something we still have to learn about and something we're unsure about too that could change how good evos are could make them even better ea said they're going to be more evos released this year i genuinely think even though it sounds crazy this might be a decent option for some if not all of your fc points as well at the start of fc 25 and along with this a kind of another option related to objectives is the season pass guys the season pass there's going to be a premium pass evidently in fc 20 Five, um, and there's going to be a free pass. Now, the paid premium pass in the beta, people said that it was viable with coins or with FC points. And we don't exactly know how this works. Again, we're still waiting on EA to drop some more information in some of those pitch notes. But if the packs are really good, let's say you can get to like level 10 from buying the premium pass or you get a boost in levels or double X, but whatever boost or extra packs that the premium pass gives you, if those packs are pretty good, 
like we're talking rating guarantee packs, like maybe an 82 times five or something like that, right? Of course, 85 fours and 83 tens from this season, that's those are way too good of packs to see at the very start of the game. But if the packs are pretty good, because they're probably going to be untradeable. That's the other thing you have to imagine. The packs in the season are always untradeable. I would imagine that in FC25, they would be as well. But if the packs in the premium pass are very good and it's not that expensive in terms of FC points, that would be something else to consider kind of along the lines of evolutions. I know those are two new things that we haven't had yet, so we don't understand it fully in terms of stuff in FC25, especially the season pass. But that is definitely something to think about. Now, option number four for these FC points is just wait. And this option for me, I don't love it, but it does revolve around packs. I mean, if you're going to wait and hold your 4,600 FC points, the motivation for you is probably you're waiting for a big store pack during like Black Friday. Uh, like we had the Thunderstruck promo last year with the icons, the live cards in packs, uh, even some re-released cards. I think at that point it was crazy. One of the best promos of the whole entire year. And EA dropped some pretty big packs and you could save your points for that time of the year if you wanted to just kind of open like a marquee massive type of store pack, which a lot of people usually end up spending with coins uh, later on during the cycle when they have more coins. But if you wanted to rip those one of the times of the early game which we know ea we're probably going to get those packs earlier than ever this year because they keep moving up the craziness of the packs earlier and earlier that is an option as well uh, but honestly that does not sound very fun to me because then you're going to be struggling at the start if you don't open at least some of these packs off of the start you're going to be struggling for coins and that is going to be tough so that's why i think guys that the best option is to open the packs straight away just because again coins are king how many times do i say that in this game and in these videos especially in the early game if you have coins you are going to be able to do so many other things that a lot of people can't do right that's why coins are so important and if you have them off the start you can go and invest you can go and do some of the foundation spcs like the hybrid leagues hybrid nations league and nation hybrid which can give you more packs yes they are untradeable and they'll probably be untradeable in fc25 but these are some really insane packs off the start and if you have sixty thousand coins from opening your um, FC points, you're going to have enough coins to do all three of these SBCs and probably not have to spend all your coins. And you probably wouldn't want to do that anyway, just to be smart. But having those coins unlocks the game for you all year long. That's why we talk about trading. We cover the market. And as it moves, we help people with trading and making coins because it's way more fun to play this game when you have coins. And it's the most fun to play this game when you have coins and you don't spend the dime on fc points it's the most rewarding uh, way to play this game 100 so i want to open this 85 10 because it's in the way but i want to discuss now one of the reasons why Ooh, george best look at that i'm gonna miss packing all these high rated cards but i'm also gonna enjoy chasing some of these gold cards but let's talk about these gold cards and talk about why opening the packs in my opinion is the best option of the four when starting with your fc points because in the early game guys i always say this every single year and it's a fact every single year there's never a better time to open packs than the first couple days of the game because cards like this never sell for more than a couple thousand coins all the rest of the year. The only caveat would be evolutions, maybe if a crazy specific one comes out and makes a card go nuts. But this Ibanez is just as overpowered in FC25 this year, but his FC24 card last year was one of the most meta OP starter center backs. He was 15,000 coins when everybody got their FC points on that Friday the game released in early access. And what did he do after that? He went down even to the next Friday. Some people are like, Nate, should I wait to open my uh, pre-order points until the first promo of the year comes out? Nah, because if you wait until then, look, you've just lost half the value of this card. And these are the types of cards that you're going to be packing the most. These cheaper cards like Ibanez, like an 81 rated Allen St. Maximum, that's a meta starter card. Look how fast these prices drop off. They are only this expensive in the early part of the year. So it is always, always, always most effective to open packs in this early stage, especially tradable packs. However, you can get tradable packs in the early stages of the game. We're talking marquee matchups. We're talking squad battle rewards. Of course, the pre-order points packs, like we've been discussing, it is the most important time to open the packs and the best time to open them, and especially the best time to sell those sort of cheaper players because in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks, they are going to tank. Now, of course, if you pack somebody good like this Alan St. Maxman, and sure, maybe he goes for like 15K straight away and you want to use him, then by all means, go for it. But just realize that in the early game, as we'll talk about here a lot very soon, 
These lower rated cards, they get packed a lot because they're lower rated. And especially in the day and age and how much content we get in this game now, these cards are going to lose their value faster than ever. And in the early game, they actually have a value. So that's one thing I wanted to mention. Even though there's not very many special cards in packs, maybe just a team of the week, packing a card like this is actually a really good pull, and you're going to make a lot of coins off of that. Now, when these 4,600 FC points are released to the rest of the game and to the game, when we all are getting on and opening these points, right? I want to show you some graphs and talk through some things. This Holland card is going to be very overpowered this year. All the top players that have been added to, to Footbin that are in the database, these guys, of course, are going to be expensive at the start of the year. They're going to be tough to pack, but also everybody's going to want to get them. And this is the trend that we see that we saw last year. Last year was a different year comparatively to other FIFAs, FIFA 23, FIFA 22, because we did not have welcome backpacks. So prices started high, cards were very rare, not supplied on the market, and then all the 4,600 FC points were spent and opened, and on these top tier cards, you actually saw a little bit of a dip, right? Even like we looked at with Ibanez, right? He was his highest on that day, and then after that, packs, 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 he just got pushed down in price, and the demand started to wane for this card. There was not as many people building starter squads. They wanted to upgrade to better center backs. People started upgrading to Erling Holland, getting enough coins to afford this card, he goes from 414,000 coins, probably was even lower than that at his lowest point, and went all the way up to 530k in three days, guys. The, the market rebound last year was crazy, and it's not just on gold cards. It's on heroes, it's on icons, it's on informs. Look at this, very rare, early game, Joe Cole, 500,000 coins, drops to 187k when everybody is opening their packs in that early stage time, and then he goes up like crazy. Now, I know we're talking about, oh, it's the best time to open your packs in that early stage because the cards like this are expensive, but then you see the other prices like that Joe Cole and the, and the Holland, and you're like, Nate, what about those cards? Well, those are the cards that you're probably going to want to hold on to because they're going to appreciate in value if you're lucky enough to pack a card like this, which funny enough, Joe Cole is actually a card that I packed untradeable last year in the first like two or three weeks of the game. He was a cheat code. He was absolutely amazing. But I wanted to just use him as an example because a lot of graphs look the same way. Prices drop on the 22nd on the meta cards because not many people can afford these yet, but they start to rise after as people open more packs, play the game, get rewards, get more coins. But of course, those cheaper cards, those starter team players that everybody's thinking about building on in those first couple of days are the most expensive. And that is why it is best to open those packs as soon as possible and get tradable packs as soon as possible because the market only goes down on the lower tier and up on the higher tier. It's also, as you saw there on those graphs, a great time to invest. And we're gonna be looking at very, very similar windows this year as well. Now, I will say this to end the video. There's always going to be a little bit of change year over year. And I tried to incorporate that and talk about it in this video today because we've got evolutions that are a big thing this year, which we know more about after having them for a year. And also we have the premium season pass and we still don't know a little bit about the store packs. What if there's 15 K packs in the store? Would it be worth to open those? I would say yes. The best packs that you can get for the FC points would be the packs to open, but we'll just have to see what EA release and when they release it of course noting with the packs that contracts are going to be removed that's going to impact packs a lot and of course we're still waiting on the pitch notes and maybe inside of that ea will give us a little bit more detail if there is a big change to this method i will update you guys on another video for sure but in my opinion guys most of us will be opening our packs straight away using our coins from there to go and invest build our team or go and get some more packs through sbcs maybe some people will do draft maybe some split combinations of some packs and some evos let me know down below after i've talked about all this which seems the best for you because in the end do what makes you have the most fun for me i want to get those coins straight away so that i get trading so i'm going to open the packs right away have a fun pack opening and then go from there. But let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking. If this video helped you out at all, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel for all the FC25 news and info that you need. I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. It's been Nathan with Catch you there. Peace out.